friends, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping back by. I have had in some of my previous videos, a couple of my previous videos, I have had a couple of requests for uh, kind of a tour of the lemon decor that I have in my house, which it's actually not too much. It's in my den, I'm sorry, my kitchen, my coffee bar, and in my dining room. So today, that is what I am going to share with you. I'm going to just share with you how I have that decorated and how I use lemons in my decor in my house during the summer. So uh, let's get into it. Now, the first thing that I'm going to show you is my dining room table. And this is basically how I have it this summer. I, I basically, I kind of leave this table like it is for the most part year round. So I do keep these uh, like wicker chargers in place. Sometimes I do change out the um, table runner but I keep this, I don't even know what it's called. Let me know in the comments below if you know. I guess it's kind of like one of those dough bowls, but not really, but anyway. So I keep the rattan or the wicker chargers down most of the time, but I do change out the these chargers here. And our everyday dishes are the blue and white Corel. So it kind of works out with the lemon decor because I do like the, the yellow, the bright yellow and the navy. So I just kind of set those out and then I have these fake lemons at each place in the little bowl. And they, um, I, I got, you can, I mean, you can get them anywhere, the lemons, but I found mine on clearance at, I actually found them at Ross, Marshalls, and TJ Maxx. So that is the way that I have the lemons being used in my dining room. All right, the next thing that I'm going to share with you is this little corner in my kitchen. This is where I keep my KitchenAid stand all year long because I do use it quite a bit. And one of the main things that I actually use it for is to juice lemons for lemon water. And so I thought what better decor to use but this cute little sign here that I got. It's, it's a shadow box. I don't know if you can tell. It's a shadow box, so it's kind of a 3D effect, but it says when life gives you lemons. And then you come over here and it's a cute little sign that says fresh lemonade. And then I have the little fake lemon sitting there next to it. Now, this quick and easy little DIY, inexpensive, is this little frame. I got the frame at Dollar Tree and it is a bronze colored frame, but I didn't want the bronze. So I aged it and weathered it by dry brushing white chalk paint along the front and along the edges, just so that it did have that worn look. And then the sign in the frame actually was a computer printout I found the the picture that I wanted on just on the internet I printed it out and cut it to fit the frame and so I have a cute little sign there that cost me literally a dollar and so this is this cute little when life gives you lemons corner and I just think it looks really cute it's simple but it's cute all right so the last Thing that I'm going to show you is my coffee bar because I love my coffee bar. Anyway, 
So I found this little cute little yellow bike. You can't really tell that it's yellow. Well, kind of, I guess you can. But I found this little guy at Walmart. Um, I want to say maybe last year, but it may have been a couple years ago. So I just stuck that up there to kind of bring out some of the yellow there. And then over here next to my Keurig, I just have a little tea towel with a couple of lemons sitting out. And that tea towel actually comes in handy because, let me know in the comments below, does your Keurig splash when it's brewing your coffee? Mine splashes so much. So that tea towel actually comes in handy. And then the final thing in my coffee bar is my tiered tray. And I actually wanted to kind of go over with you a little bit about this tea tray. So I made this myself and I kind of did it to the specifics that I wanted. I wanted the taller, um, I wanted the taller uh, candlesticks to, to make it a little farther apart from each from each tier because some of the tier trays they're too narrow and so it's hard to fit stuff in there so anyway i did that but i got these pieces this right here is just a little plate this right here is a pie pan and the bottom tray is actually a pizza pan and i got it all from the dollar tree and so initially when I made this, I uh, spray painted it all silver and then I glued it together. Well, I found out pretty quickly that the, doing it that way, the, the spray paint kind of made it come apart, fall apart quicker. So I ended up, um, I ended up sanding, sanding the, sanding like the center down where, where the candlestick is um, top and bottom, glued it back together with E6000, and then I came back with white chalk paint. I painted the inside of it and the, um, the sides, and I actually, as you can tell there, I painted the bottom, but I glued it together first. Then I came back with a black um, sponge paint brush and I put a black rim around the top, the middle, and the bottom. So anyway, this is how I have my tear tray decorated. I got this cute little sign, think, from Walmart. Again, the lemons came from TJ Maxx, Ross, Marshalls. Got them on clearance. I think it was like 10 of them in there and I paid six dollars then I, here's another one of those little bicycles I wanted to incorporate that guy in there and then this little flower I actually got from the Dollar Tree um, and then I just have some boxwood sprigs and more lemons and cotton and this actually this coffee cup right here came from Dollar Tree as well and I just basically let me show you so I have this on my tear tray normally and um, yeah so I didn't want to have to put it up so I just stuck it inside the coffee cup and put the coffee cup on the tear tray so that is the tear tray decorated with the lemon decor. And that finishes off my coffee bar. Did I mention that I love my coffee bar? Okay guys, that is a little bit of the lemon decor that I have in my house. Thank you so much for even being interested in watching the video. I hope you liked it. In the comments below, let me know what one of your favorite things was in the decor that I showed you. And if this is your first time here to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I would love it if you would consider subscribing to my channel. 
and don't forget to click the bell button. And also for everyone watching, please give me a thumbs up to this video because it does help YouTube know that you are watching. And I hope you have a great evening and I hope the rest of your week goes well and I will see you in the next video. Bye.